second and indeed at the start of the third. But since then, he's found the more experienced Steve Sims a real handful. the Junior Lightweight Championship of Wales. And as the contest progresses, one gets the impression that the defending champion, Steve Sims, may just be doing enough to pick up the points which will help him retain his title. doing a good covering up job taking both of those punches the right and the left on the arms tightened up his whole defense and he hasn't really been caught by board for about four rounds and every time that Sims scores albeit infrequently there's a definite roar of approval from a very much Newport based crowd here at the Risco Leisure Centre with the left hand just forcing back ahead of Borg. seconds to go at the end of this round. Sims looks fairly well pleased with the evening's work so far. At the end of the second and at the start of the third, he was under a great deal of pressure from Tony Borg. But in this is 26th contest, he's shown remarkable strength, remarkable courage. And most of that can be put down to experience. to go and Steve Sims the world's junior lightweight champion looking better and stronger as this contest has progressed 
despite the fact that at the end of the second, well, he looked very much on his way out. really hasn't fulfilled the promise he showed as an amateur he was the Welsh amateur featherweight champion in 1982 at the same time that Steve Sin was the British professional featherweight champion and now it's Borg who seems content to try to hold in those clinches and Borg holding again from Borg but the power doesn't seem to be there the way it was in the second round and who could blame him and again Sims just tying up his younger opponent but this has been a real cracker right from the word go again Borg attacks and again Steve Sims managed to cover up Under half a minute of the ninth round. And the looks of things, this may just go the distance. Kevin Pritchard and Sully Hill in November of 1984. That seemed to be the end of the line for him. But he got his chance to come back into things to take the Welsh Junior Lightweight title the first time it was up for grabs in Newport of last year when he beat Steve Cleek over 10 rounds. And he may just be able to do enough in the last round to retain that title. Clubs, and somewhere in the region of 1,200 people very anxious about the outcome of this Welsh Junior Lightweight Championship title fight. Sims really made a remarkable comeback after being down in the second round. And right at the start of the third, he looked as if he was going to go. But back he came using all the experience of his 27 years and 25 contests and with the crowd the largely Newport based crowd behind him he's come back into this title at stake and there really can't be very much in it 
the early part of the fight very much Boggs Sims clawed his way back into things in the middle rounds so at the moment it's going to be very very interesting indeed Sims looking remarkably fresh up on his toes hoping to do enough Borg leaning and looking a bit more tired. Again, slipping in Sims' corner. Sims not quite connecting with that right hand. And what a finish these two are giving us. A remarkable contest indeed. They've hardly stopped for the whole of the 10 rounds and Sims, the champion, determined that he's not going to relinquish this Welsh Junior Lightweight title. Half a minute then, a final flourish from Borg. Sims coming forward. Referee Ivor Bassett having a final look at the final moment of drama. What a splendid contest this has been. Borg exhausted. Sims exhausted. There's the bell. And Sims has got it. What a tremendous performance by the 27-year-old Sims. He was gone at the end of the second round. He looked as if he was on his way out. He really got himself back into things at the middle of this contest and he simply delighted the large Newport contingent by retaining his Welsh Junior Lightwell title. And what a round of applause and a thoroughly deserved one for him. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm assured that you feel 